I first read Watchmen when I was about 12 years old. I read it about two years ago. I picked up Watchmen this last summer. Earlier this year, so like January. I did not grow up reading comics like so many other people have. I did read a lot of comics. I don't want to say like underground or anything. My favorite graphic novel would probably be Kira. Growing up, I read a lot of comics. I have boxes and boxes of comics and storage. Watchmen is the comic book that makes you grow up. I would say that Watchmen is definitely a story about how society treats itself. It's an alternate history. Richard Nixon serving his like fifth term as president. And there are these you know crazy people who have decided to become vigilantes. The comedian who decides you know, to work for the government, he becomes like a Captain America type. Night Owl, who's essentially part Batman. And then you have Rorschach, who is like Batman, but if Batman were to snap. Dr. Manhattan, who's the equivalent to Superman. You see the superheroes that, you use, that used to be so glorified when you were a kid, and you see them torn apart. They're disasters. What those people would kind of have to be like, and the things and questions they would have to deal with. We're not looking at heroes that are being praised for their actions, we're looking at heroes that are being punished for their actions. Stuff I've seen so far, uh, it's pretty great because they basically just took the graphic novel and used that as a storyboard. There's sh shots that um, were in the trailer that you just remember right back to the, to the graphic novel. Teaser was catered for the uh, fans of the novel. Then, like the second trailer came out and that's when I started to worry. My the biggest fear with the movie is that they're gonna lose those those wonderful themes. The point of the of the novel's gonna be missed. Worst case scenario, it they just turns it into an action. If the movie's good or if it sucks, it's gonna draw attention to the graphic novel. I'm really excited to see it. And I know I shouldn't be, just because there's that fear of being horribly disappointed. I'm sorry, just wait just one second. My phone is ringing. I'm so no, sorry. No, my phone's ringing too. It's alright. So I don't know. Sorry. I'm going to look up tickets in a minute. Look online for me. Audio. I'm in the middle of an interview. So I have to see the movie. Tomorrow. I can't wait because someone will ruin it for me if we wait any longer. Nations around the world still reeling from this morning's announcement. Possibly the most significant event in recent history. It's tough. It's tough to really um, figure out what I think. I thought that it was a nearly flawless adaptation. I said nearly flawless. Best comedy I've seen in years. Seriously. Uh, I enjoyed it. Um, as a fan of the comic, I felt it was a perfect adaptation, but... The more I think about it and reflect on it, the more I don't think it worked as a movie. Just some of the things going on, like for me it was the acting. I, I really tried to look at this from just a movie perspective, not a comic book adaptation. I feel like it could have been better, but everything could always be better. There's nothing out there that's perfect. I think Zack Snyder did a good job um, bringing the Watchmen to this, the big screen. He got a lot of what was in what is a very dense graphic novel on the screen. It was geared towards the general audience, but it wasn't written for a general audience. He could have made it a lot worse and like left parts out and they could have changed it and just butchered it and lost all of the meaning. But I think um, the story really stands out and stands on its own for the movie. And that's, you know, as a fan, that's, that's all you can really ask for.